did you know that my cousin won the triple, triple showcase? Show- <laughs> <laughs> She won the triple showcase, that's right. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Felipe. I'm Lillian. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK reacting to Great Britain. We make five new videos a week in which we dissect the intricacies of British culture through the lens of television. So hit that subscribe button now. Today we're going to react to More Commend Wise. <clears throat> this is their sketch called Top of the Form. <laughs> Okay, another Eric and Ernie. I think this time, though, they're actually doing some kind of skit. They're not playing themselves. They're not playing themselves. They're playing something I think else. so. Cool. I think so. We've not seen them do that before, have we? I don't we? think so. So kind of like um, the two Ronnies, like, doing mm. something. <laughs> Solve T squared of the Television top of the phone. Doesn't make sense. Look at the hair. Good evening. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is the final contest between the boys and the girls to see whether the three boys or the three girls win the all expenses paid holiday in Mallorca. Now, Ooh. have you all got your fingers ready? Good. <laughs> now, press your buttons. Everything's in perfect working order. Fingers off the buttons. That's fine. Now, you know what's going to happen, don't you? If you get the answer <laughs> to the question, hair. you press your button and your <clears throat> name lights up. Right, we'll start with question number one. A small island off the northwest coast of Britain has a three-legged symbol. What is the name of this island? <laughs> Three-legged symbol. Three symbol. What is the name of this island? Uh, yes, Norman? The Isle of Man. Quite correct, Norman. Very good. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Oh. Name the play by William Shakespeare in which a pound of flesh is mentioned. Merchant of Venice. <laughs> oh. William Shakespeare, pound of flesh. Now, come on. Yes, Sandra? The Merchant of Venice. Quite correct, Sandra. The very, Merchant very of Venice. <laughs> Excuse me. Now for me, sir. a musical question. Could, could, could I have a word with you, please, sir? Who wrote this very descriptive <laughs> piece of music? So fingers on those buttons now and listen carefully. John Williams? Um, no, uh, try, uh, it's the Mars, uh, the planets. Pulse, Pulse, yes. Pulse. Simon? Gustav Holt. Quite Holtz. correct, Simon. Very, very good, well Simon. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Simon. I'm sorry to be a nuisance, huh? Next question. <laughs> the giant redwood tree is found in which American state? Yes, California. Giant redwood tree. Now, come on, let's have the answer now. Uh, yes, Betty. California. Quite correct, Betty. Very good. <laughs> Eric, you're falling behind. Get your finger on that button. My finger is on the button. It's red raw. We're pressing the flaming button. <laughs> the thing won't <laughs> will it? <coughs> I've known all the answers up to now. All oh, that name light up. All you have to do is press the button. I'm pressing. Look at that. Well, is your light not working? Of course not. Either that or my fingers fused. <laughs> <laughs> my fingers what? Fused. Press the button now. I'm pressing it now. You see? There you are. Look. It's all right. Tell me, Sean. Now it's on left book. on. Great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Name the player who has represented England more times than any other player in the history of international football. Now, come on now. Let's have the answer to this. You should know this. Time's running out. Hang on a minute. Just a minute. You've got just this. <laughs> he's, uh, he's broken. Seconds. Now, come on. Just tell the other ones. Tell the neighbor. Yes, Bobby Charles. I knew that. I knew it was him. Well, you should have pressed the button. Bobby Charles. I was pressing. My flaming light doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Can we continue? Shut up. <laughs> Can we continue? Listen to this question very carefully. Two famous men. Lol and Hardy. That's got nothing to do with that question. Lol and Hardy. I stand no chance, do I? <laughs> Give me a proper button, that's all Shut I... Shut up! <laughs> Stay now. Now we come to the do or die. I'm not bothered. <laughs> 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 the prize is a holiday in Mallorca. Now, if you give the correct answer, you get double points. Wrong answer, you're out of the contest. Now listen. Fingers on the buttons now. Who wrote Gone with the Wind? <laughs> Gone 
<clears throat> well, Eddie? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Come on, the answer! Under Why can't wall. he tell him? <laughs> Who Rob gone with the wind? How the hell do I know Rob gone with the wind? <laughs> well, your light's on. Hmm? Your light's on, your name's lit up, look. I have an impression, sir. Uh, well, you've got three seconds. Yes, Do I who wrote it? with the what? The wind. Yes, who wrote it? Who yes. wrote it? Come on, you're stalling for time. Yeah, Lola Nardi. No, they didn't. <laughs> well, they should have done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they should have done. Margaret Mitchell. Quite correct, Jean. You are out of the contest. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're out of the contest, and the girls win the contest of the holiday in Mallorca. Good. What do you mean, good? You're not even in it. The girls have won. That's all you know. Can I make you a <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for him. Oh, come on. I would feel so frustrated. <laughs> so is, is there a game like that in the US? I mean, that looks like University Challenge a bit to me. But. Yeah. But is there something like that? There's only University Jeopardy. That's the only thing I've ever seen that kind of matches University play. I guess. Um, no. Did you ever watch University Jeopardy? Mm -mm. Where they were like MIT, Harvard, Yale. No. Mm, it's good. I watched Jeopardy. Yeah. But never like the and University like, who wants rendition. to be a millionaire? Is there a university who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> no. Yeah, the only game shows I watched growing up would have been The Price is Right, mm. Family Feud, yeah. Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Those four, I think, were the main ones I Definitely. watched. Definitely. Those are the classics. Mm -hmm. I love The Price is Right. Yeah. Did you know that my cousin won the Triple, triple Showcase? Show <laughs> <laughs> She won the triple showcase. That's right. <laughs> Is that where you win every one of the showcases? Yeah, you win mm. all three. So when you win one of the showcases, do you go back to play? Is that how it works? Or Yeah. So when you win, then you go as a contestant the next time with other people challenging. Mm. You yeah. you can play you keep playing. I think so. Mm. I, I forget now. But mm. um yeah. But yeah, so Price is Right was about guessing the price about something yeah so without going really over good. It, i don't know how without going over wheel of fortune was just guessing the words, words. family feud was tr was um trivia kind of it wasn't trivia it was uh they had asked most popular yeah most popular answers yes to questions i like that one too and um what was the fourth one? Wheel, no, so Wheel of Fortune, jeopardy. Price is Right, and Jeopardy was trivia. Oh, did you ever watch the um the dating one? What is have you ever watched the dating one? Mm, which one was that? There's like, the dating game. Yeah, where there's like three contestants and then one person, a guy or a girl. Oh, and they and answer they questions. Would, yeah. And, and whoever then, won got the date. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Did you ever that watch was that? old. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what'd you think of them doing a skit together instead of just joking or whatever? Yeah, it was good. I just mm. felt bad for the guy, mm. for Eric. <laughs> the um, the boys and the girls look really young. Yeah, it looked like school kids. Yeah, I think they like got not school university. Kids. And he was trying to be a school kid. Yeah, there and I and guess girls, those questions. I wonder if, on the time of the the show airing, mm -hmm. those questions were school level knowledge in england uh -huh. so that if you were that school level you should know the answers yeah, to that and probably. we didn't know all of them we didn't know. so i feel embarrassed but then i again, should have known gone with the wind i why it's rightly or wrongly it's a classic of literature of modern literature 20th century literature antebellum uh, period i've never um you I know what I've antebellum means it. um yes i do what is it uh, before the age of the, um... Do you know what gross profit is? <laughs> <laughs> What's gross profit? You know, you subtract uh... the, uh, costs <laughs> from the earnings. That's your gross profit? Incorrect. No. no. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> What's that, T-Bellum? You should know your Latin. Just think of the Latin. Before... Before... Bellum. Bellum. War. Yeah. I don't 
don't know the war was Bellum. Yeah, before Bellum. Mm. Antebellum, before the Civil War. Mm. So it's kind of like a romantic period of the South. And I it's been canceled. I haven't watched the movie, have I? It's a long movie. Cool. But um, it's been canceled mm. because it romanticizes the South. Mm. Even though there was a the first black woman to win the Academy Award was from that film. Was from that film, and you should play her acceptance speech. Mm -hmm. It's part of this. Yeah. Bam. Get it. <laughs> Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science, fellow members of the motion picture industry and honored guests. This is one of the happiest moments of my life. And I want to thank each one of you who had a part in selecting me for one of the awards. For your kindness, it has made me feel very, very humble. And I shall always hold it as a beacon for anything that I may be able to do in the future. I sincerely hope I shall always be a credit to my race and to the motion picture industry. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. And may I say thank you and God bless you. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed our view of Morecambe and Wise once again. I think we'll try to do one of these a week. You guys really seem to enjoy Eric it. Eric and Ernie, classics. So we'll do that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.